Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Okay, so if you were with me last week, then you know we've already kicked off our Halloween season by drawing one of Disney's iconic scary characters, that being the Wicked Witch that evil Queen Grimhilda transforms herself into in order to give Snow White that poison apple. This week, we're going to visit another classic Disney evil character by drawing the Horned King for the 1985 animated film The Black Cauldron, which was Disney's 25th animated feature film. Such an interesting checkered history this movie had, created in that strange transition period between the end of the golden years of Disney's animation and the renaissance of their cartoon feature films, beginning in 1989 with The Little Mermaid. The Black Cauldron did not see the box office success that so many Disney films enjoyed, and yet it has, over time, become kind of a cult classic. Anyway, as I said, we'll be drawing the Horn King, considered one of Disney's darkest villains, the treacherous, vindictive, wicked, and spiteful monarch who sports skeletal features. If you're not familiar with the movie, it revolves around the Horn King's quest to find the Black Cauldron so he may take advantage of the Cauldron's incredible powers. I want to point out that with this drawing, we'll be dealing with a similar issue that we touched on last week when we drew the witch from Snow White, and that is a somewhat undefined body underneath a lot of clothing or material. We're going to do with the Horn King what we did with the witch, and that is sketch out a loose idea of that body underneath all that clothing. Just something to look for. Anyway, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow. Hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Alrighty then, let's draw from the Black Cauldron, the villainous Horn King. We're going to draw our evil king step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this pose, the Horned King's body is just about seven heads tall. In other words, however tall a skeleton head is, not counting those horns that stick off of it, his entire body is about seven of those. Okay? So now, just like with the witch last week, as we start to rough out our Horn King, you're going to notice that I draw a rough form of his legs and arms, most of which you'll never see in the final drawing. So why do I do this? For the same reason I gave you last week with the witch. First, it allows you to make sense of what would otherwise be an amorphous blob of a cloak. It gives that shape a reason for being what it is, which then allows you to draw it again. Secondly, it allows you to build on that by drawing your Horn King in other poses, based on that body underneath that cloak. What would he look like walking or running or in a fighting stance? And then third, it allows you to build even more upon this drawing by drawing other characters using similar construction. In other words, you can use what you've learned instead of just drawing a one-off of the Horn King. Anyway, what do you say we draw the roadmap for the Horn King?
So there's a roadmap for the evil Horn King. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help. You don't know where to put the Horn King's eyes, skeleton nose, and hideous mouth, and other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. All right, so let's rough out the features for the Horn King. Okay, so there are the roughed out features of the Horn King. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of our evil monarch. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. As I often caution you, I don't want you to just mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn now. As you're drawing that final line, you want to be thinking about how you might improve it, staying vigilant until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for the Horn King. And there you have it, from Disney's The Black Cauldron, The Evil Horned King. So how do you think you did? 
Understand if you've never drawn the Horn King before, or any hideous skeleton face ruler, you can't expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring our Horn King during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. But now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing the Horn King. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it's going to be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your drawing of our evil ruler, the Horn King. And as with the witch from Snow White, I encourage you to try drawing him in other poses as well, which I'd also love to see. If you can, take a picture and post them on Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Next week, I promise we'll be drawing another Halloween-inspired character. Until then, keep drawing, my friends.